Hello everybody. Today I have an EXP card. This is one of the cards that um, we make to convert punch out to super punch out. And uh, this one is one of the first ones we built. It was sitting on my workbench uh, when we had our our little fire. So the entire back of it is just a mess. If you can see that, I can zoom in a little better. Let's see if we can go in any farther. I guess that's about it. Anyway, let me bring it up. You see all of it is just pretty messy. There was solder residue or flux on this one. And it was just the prototype that I keep using, you know, the first one I populated. So today, I'm going to show you a simple way that I use to clean these. Um, I'm not even going to take it to the sink. I'm just going to use some alcohol, some 99% isopropyl alcohol. And a toothbrush. This works pretty well on most things. So I just dip a toothbrush in a little isopropyl alcohol. Start rubbing it on here. And you can see It's starting to dissolve all that gunk. I'll just do this one half. And I bent a couple legs. I'll bend them back. Anyway. So I use that, and then I have some uh, wonderful cotton balls, and I haven't even pulled the PCB cleaner out yet. You know, I, I mean, I need it at all. The isopropyl alcohol might just be enough to clean all this up. So it's pretty much dry, and look at the difference here. Just a toothbrush, some isopropyl alcohol, let's see, get that focused in a little better. And it cleans it up, and this is what it looked like over here to begin with. What a difference. And now I'm going to turn it around, and I'll do the other half. This is just using alcohol and a little toothbrush. And this has been through, it's been sitting for almost a year now without touching it. After we had our exposure to heat, and it just uh, really made this filthy. It looked terrible. Should have been cleaned up anyway, but you know, like I said, it was the first one I built. All the parts are socketed. Just so I, if I made a mistake, I could, uh, you know, I could correct it and see. And make sure all my, my parts were working, you know. If, if something didn't work, I could go through and, and hand test each part without having to unsolder them. Alright, we've got a couple little pieces of... Uh, You saw how red and nasty it was. Almost like it was starting to rust. But using just the isopropyl alcohol, my toothbrush, 
and a couple of these uh, cotton balls to help dry it up and lift off some of this uh, schmutz. You see it looks like a brand new board. filthy. And then I'll take the little strands of cotton off with the toothbrush. And here we go. Boy, and that's going to dry in just, just a couple seconds. What a difference from, from what we had before. So it took all the residues off. And I'm surprised it worked as well as it did. I thought maybe I was going to have to take some uh, printed circuit board cleaner or PCB cleaner, which I use from time to time. This stuff works really well. This is from MG Chemicals. It's called uh, 4140A, and it's flux remover. So I didn't, I didn't even need to pull out the big guns. I just used... 99% alcohol. By the way, I couldn't find this on the shelf. The most they have is like 81 normally in the, you know, at the pharmacy. So I ordered uh, this from, from Amazon and I use it for cleaning the bed of my 3D printer. And then I use it for this as cleanup and um, it works really well. You don't want to get too much on your fingers because it starts to dry them out a little bit. So if you use a lot of it and you're actually physically in touch with it, I would wear, you know, some latex gloves or, or vinyl if you're allergic to latex and, um, and use a toothbrush. All right. So that's my little tutorial on cleaning up a board. Well, thanks for tuning in today. Um, subscribe if you like it, and let me know if you want to see more of these. Uh, if you'd like, I can. I may do a complete circuit board that was uh, that was in the fire and smoke damaged, and just show you before and afters and how they clean up. You have a good day.